This prophecy thing is really a hot subject in my country in South Africa. People are forever prophesying over each other and trying to predict the future. That's divination. The Bible warns about that. But in some cases, they even call themselves a prophet. And if you go to spiritword.org.za, you can find out about a man called Kubis van Rensburg, who's called himself the prophet. And he's got a following, a huge following of people that now come to worship with him and his wife. He is the prophet in South Africa, the prophet, the man who does these wonderful healings. He, interestingly enough, he received this gift after he spent some time with TB Joshua. Now, just want, before I show you this video clip, I want you to, for a moment, think back into the lectures. If the Ark of the Covenant was no longer valid, if the sanctuary was no longer valid, but at one time God said that this was the seat of the Shekinah glory, the mercy seat, the throne of God, the top of the Ark of the Covenant in between the, the covering cherubs and the Shekinah glory. If at one point in time in history that was sacred to God, do you think that somehow God would today disregard it and somehow get rid of it or treat it badly? Obviously not. It would be treated with the same respect. Otherwise, Malachi would be wrong when he says, I changed. God says, I change not. I am the Lord, I change not. And in the Old Testament sanctuary, we've shown you that it's in the New Testament gospel as the same thing. Therefore, the Ark of the Covenant is still as holy today as it was ever in history. Not only that, the Ark of the Covenant points towards the Holy of Holies in heaven, this sanctuary in heaven where Jesus is ministering on our behalf. Just take for a moment... Sit for a moment and, and, and take the time to watch this clip. Here you have the prophet in South Africa doing something with the Ark of the Covenant. And I want you to notice sort of two-thirds into the clip, some, somebody, I would rather say somebody rather than something, somebody speaks to him and then he says, break it, break it, he told me to break it. And ask yourself, is this God speaking or is this a demon speaking to the prophet in South Africa? Thank you. <laughs> no more. Takes out a sword. He chops the, the angel into the Ark of the Covenant. Now listen. Joy! Joy! Oh, Jesus, help me! Oh, Jesus, help me! See, he blames God again. Oh, can you take it? Oh, man! Now he takes out the mercy seat. Ten Commandments. No more! Look at the reaction from the, the people. The pot of no manna, he smashes it. Star by heaven, no more. <laughs> this man's for this. <laughs> now listen, he speaks to him. Break the thing. Break the thing. Sure. He said break it. He said break it. Now listen very carefully to the last words. When I chopped that first thing attacking that dragon. Oh, forgive me. Don't. When I chopped that first thing attacking that dragon. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. This is not from God. This is from Satan. And it's inside Protestantism.